the world is running out of uh, place to store the oil and uh, storage is a kind of buffer uh, when the when the supply and demand balance uh, is uh, positive or negative then you can uh, build or draw from storage but when the storage gets full then there is no buffer for this uh, very strong uh, imbalance that we are seeing and normally we are used to see very high uh, storage uh, capacity in the united states but uh, they don't have much storage capacity left uh, we think that they only have like two weeks to go before they are running completely out of storage. So the production has to be reduced very, uh, very soon. Uh, so it's not enough to wait until, uh, until uh, late May or June. Uh, the production has to cut now in order for the market to balance. Otherwise, we will see a new uh, extreme shock on the on the oil price uh, in May, as we saw uh, last uh, yesterday or the day before, we saw negative uh, oil prices in the U.S. And this can happen again uh, if production is not uh, cut uh, right. very soon. Right. And uh, Pierre, my follow up is when will that extreme shock, that extreme hit on oil prices, which we saw with the May contracts, actually hit the energy sector? Uh, Rystad Energy brought out some numbers on saying that at $10 by the end of 2021, we would have more than 500 companies within the shale industry in the U.S. go belly up. Uh, how would that spread the risk across the sector and how would that also uh, impact some of the bigger names, uh, names like Chevron and ExxonMobil? Because you're talking about a possibility of a systemic risk actually being unleashed uh, because of the dent in prices, because of the significant historic drop in prices. Uh, it's first of all the, the second quarter of the year that will be in this extreme situation where we are running out of storage and extreme low oil prices. Then for the third quarter and fourth quarter, the oil price will get more into normal ranges. And with normal ranges, we are talking about 25, 30, 35, uh, around 30. But in, during the second quarter, we will hit the wall. There will be no more storage. Uh, there is floating storage, but there is uh, not possible to, uh, to quickly build the, the floating storage as quick as onshore storage. So all, the, all companies will struggle extremely during the second quarter. But these big names like uh, the ma super majors, they will have to borrow money. They, they will uh, see negative cash, flow, uh, cash flows in the second quarter. And they will also struggle to balance cash flows in the uh, third and fourth quarter. So they will have to borrow some money. The big names will not be in uh, any kind of extreme risk. But in the US, there are so many small and private companies and many of these small companies will go bankrupt.